Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm working on a ROG Strix G Gaming laptop. The exact model is on your screen. It's one of the G531 GT series. I'm gonna show you how to open it up safely and access your battery in case you wanna replace it. So first thing to do guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure that it's fully off and unplugged from your charger. We're then going to flip the computer over to access your bottom case screws. Now this computer has quite a lot of screws on the bottom. You'll see these four on the top edge of your screen, these four on the bottom edge, and these three in the middle. Once you get those screws out, guys, you're going to take a small, flat, preferably plastic pry tool because plastic tends to scratch your cases less than metal does, but some sort of plastic pry tool like a guitar pick and you're gonna go around the entire edge of your computer and gently, slowly, but firmly pry off the bottom case from the computer. Now, be careful not to put your pry tool too far in. You could damage some internal components, but just keep it on the edge, even if you have to take a couple passes around, and even if one side gets stuck, leave it, go on the other side, keep going around until you get that bottom case off. Now, once your bottom case comes loose, guys, don't just rip it off. If you notice here, I have my bottom case just set up a little bit and set down. The reason for that are these two ribbon cables right here. They're attached from your bottom case to your motherboard. And if you rip off your bottom case, you'll damage those ribbon connector ports. So we wanna take these off and then we can remove our bottom case entirely. Now these type of ribbon cable connectors, there's a high potential for breaking them and then no longer being able to use them. So I'm gonna play a clip right now showing you how you can maneuver these type of ribbon cable clips. Okay, so to take a ribbon cable out of this kind of connector, first you have your ribbon cable here, you have the port on the motherboard, and then you have this retainer clip over here. This clip opens and shuts like a book cover. It opens from this side and the hinges are on this side. So in order to get that up, be very careful, take a small flat pry tool, slide it underneath, and pop it up like that, and then the ribbon cable can come out. After taking the ribbon cable out, I like to put it back down for safekeeping so it doesn't get caught on anything and rip. These are very, very breakable, these retainer clips. And if you break it, you're most likely not going to be able to find a replacement, um, in which case your ribbon cable won't be able to uh, secure down anymore, so be very careful. To get the retainer clip back in, you would pop it up again very carefully. You would slide the ribbon cable in, nice and flush. It may take a few times if you're not used to it getting it flush, and then just snap the retainer clip down, and that's how you would operate that kind of clip. So once those are unplugged and your bottom case has been removed, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now to take your battery out, you have these four screws here that you remove to actually remove the battery from the computer. And the battery port is here to unplug it. So this type of battery port, check yours out guys. You'll notice it's a two part clip. You're gonna push that top part up, slide it up toward your fan, get it away from the rest of the clip and that will release this clip. And then you can just pop it off straight up and out of your computer. That's how you would remove that battery. That's how you would unplug it from the motherboard. So that's the video guys. I hope it helped you access your battery. As a side note guys, if you need help with the battery replacement or any other replacement or upgrade parts for this model computer, I'll have a link above. I'll also have it below in the description. It'll give you a list of all the replacement and upgrade parts for this computer. Also in that list, I'll have a list of all the tools that you may need to access the inside of it. The screwdrivers, the pry tools, also the safety equipment. When I'm working on a computer, I'm using an anti-static pad underneath it. Either that or an anti-static bracelet go a long way to avoid damaging things when you're working on them. So again, I'll have a list of all the replacement parts, the upgrade parts, and all the tools and supplies you need in, in that link below in the description. Also, if you have any questions, check out the FAQs. They're also below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. But if you don't see your question there and you need to leave me a question, please do. I do respond to those at least a couple times a day. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.